I'm Kim Hanchett and I'm running in District 49 for North Carolina House. My husband and I have lived in the district for 23 years. We raised our two children here and we love life in Wake County and I believe we need a change in the General Assembly and that's why I'm running. I believe that the enormous tax cuts that were given to the top 20% of the state, large corporations, out-of-state corporations, and the top 20% in the income bracket, taking money away from our schools was the wrong decision. I think we need to reverse that back to better priorities, back to investing in our schools. I support the old uh, film incentive. I think it was bringing a lot of industry to the state, particularly to the eastern part of North Carolina where uh, I happen to have some uh, business there and work there from time to time, so I have a lot of friends there and I think it was great for that area and for the state. Well, my biggest concern with fracking in particular is uh, the potential damage to our water supply. I think having clean water is probably and clean air are probably the two of the most important things that we can give the people of North Carolina. And uh, I am not convinced yet that it's completely safe for our drinking water uh, to be fracking. I also like to look at things that are going to affect our natural resources in terms of cost benefit analysis. And I have read a lot about what the geologists have said and I always look to the experts uh, when I'm trying to make a decision. Uh, the geologist after geologist has written about the limited opportunity uh, for, um, for gas through hydraulic fracking in North Carolina, in the basins in North Carolina. So the cost may be too high for the limited amount that we would get and the limited economic opportunity. I don't believe it will bring a lot of jobs. Most people have said those jobs will go to people that already know the industry and know how to do those jobs, which means they will be mostly out of state folks that come for those jobs. Uh, offshore drilling, I would hate to go to the beach. My family loves to go to the beach um, and see that ruin the shoreline view. Uh, obviously, if it's something that's going to bring a big boost to our economy, then again, we have to do that cost benefit analysis. Um, so I think we have to be very careful when we make those big decisions. We have to hear from expert testimonies. We have to allow testimony and we have to allow uh, people on both sides of the issue to have their say before we move forward with those decisions. The current General Assembly is going in the wrong direction in my opinion and that is the reason that I'm running. I believe that they are um, on the path toward an unsustainable budget I think that all the tax cuts that they've given to the wealthiest and to out-of-state corporations have left us in a terrible shortfall. We already know from the Budget and Tax Center that we're in a huge shortfall. We're going to be in one this year and it's going to continue to get worse up to billions of dollars uh, because of those tax cuts to those folks while our middle class families and working families are struggling. Uh, they took away the child care tax credit. They took away the tax credit for people trying to save money for their children to go to college. They took away the earned income tax credit. And these don't just affect middle class and, and working families, but they also affect our small businesses. When people have less income to spend, they are unable to spend money at our small businesses. Uh, I think they are not doing a good enough job in protecting our natural resources. Uh, and I, I just think they're going in the wrong direction and I think we need some fresh voices. I think we need more women, quite frankly. Women are 54% of the voting 
electorate in North Carolina and only 22% of the General Assembly currently in North Carolina. And I think women bring a fresh perspective. I think women are better collaborators uh, to some extent. I think women as leaders have proven that they are more collaborative and um, they seek to problem solve and to come to a resolution. Um, they, it has been said that they have less ego involved with uh, negotiations. Uh, so I think that, um, that we need to make some changes and I'm, I'd like to be a part of that change. I would like to be a part of solving this teacher pay crisis. There are so many issues related to public education uh, that have made us one of the last in the country for education, teacher pay, uh, uh, per pupil spending. Our children don't have books to bring home for homework. Our high school students, even in the advanced placement uh, classes, don't have uh, the most up-to-date books, which is abominable to me. So I'd like to get involved in getting more funding to teachers, raising the teacher pay to the national average. I know it's going to take time to do that, but Governor Hunt did it, and I think if we are aggressive and if we're really dedicated to this most important public investment of education, uh, we can work together to get that done within four to five years. I would love to see more transportation projects and more progressive transportation opportunities for people in this state. Uh, I believe that unfortunately with a state budget the way it is right now, uh, with all of the tax cuts that have gone to the wealthiest corporations and the wealthiest of the state, that there's less money to do things like that, including rural development and transportation. I believe that counties are going to have to make up some of that deficit. I'm hoping that Wake County will have some new Wake County commissioners that are really dedicated to uh, new transportation, progressive transportation, and can help with some of those costs. Um, but we're going to have to find room for it somewhere. The death penalty has become a trickier issue, I think, for all of us, given some of the things that have happened in the last several months. I do believe in the death penalty uh, for the most horrendous of crimes. I do believe in it only if it can be met out with, uh, without racial bias, uh, and if everybody that it, um, goes into the justice system has equal representation. I do think that North Carolina needs a more full-time legislature because these issues are, you know, so important to the state of North Carolina that when you, when you ask people to only do this part-time and then they have to go have another job, it only means that there's less attention to solving all of these state problems that we have, and we have a lot right now. I think it should be a full-time job, and if it's going to be a full-time job, unfortunately at some point there's going to need to be a little more pay so that you get people of all walks of life from North Carolina serving in the legislature. We should have people from working families and middle-class families, and um, it's fine to have some lawyers. We need some of them in the mix, but um, I think it would be better, and we'd have better uh, legislation and more um, progressive ideas, uh, creative thinking, if we used people from all walks of life and in uh, all areas of, of, uh, of, of the perspective. Well, I am very tenacious, so I, am a, I believe that I'm a problem solver, and when, I, when I'm determined to um, make something right, 
like I am, you know, as as running in this race and hopefully as a new uh, House representative in District 49, I will work very hard and I will work collaboratively. Um, and I do that in my personal life as well. On a typical Saturday morning, my husband and I We'll sit and read the paper. We're a little more relaxed than we are on weekdays. We almost always will go to either the flea, um, flea market, more in the winter and fall. In the spring and summer, we go to the farmer's market. Uh, my husband is a car nut, so we sometimes will go uh, look at old cars. Um, we love North Carolina, all of North Carolina. My husband and I, for our anniversary every year, rather than to go to some you know, exotic destination, we choose a place in North Carolina we've never been before. And we go there for typically only one night, have a nice dinner, stay over, and do anything touristy for the area to get to know it. Uh, our families love Oak Island beaches uh, on, the, on the beach side, and we also love Boone and Asheville and going to the mountains. Um, we love the state, love everything about it. Well, there are a lot of people uh, that I can think of to answer this question, but lately I've been spending a little more time with a man that I uh, actually campaigned for 20 years ago and came to really admire, as many North Carolinians did, and that's Governor Jim Hunt. Uh, and he is amazing. I, I really respect the fact that he did such a good job bringing um, business technology to the state which really took us into the 21st century. Uh, it moved forward with the Centennial Campus. I admire that he cared so much about education, that he was able in a very difficult time to raise teacher pay to the national average. And I definitely, at the age where I am now in my mid-50s, respect the fact that here he is significantly older than I am, and he is still out um, pushing forward his uh, very strong views about the importance of public education. I'm a member of the Democratic Party, and uh, I think that in this election, the choice is very clear. I believe that while my party in the state of North Carolina for the last 20 years um, didn't have all the answers, and weren't perfect, uh, that in this particular election, I think standing for the Democratic Party, as I do, means you stand for education and working families, middle class families. What we've seen come out of the General Assembly Republican majority is that they care more about big corporations and multimillionaires. So I'm proud to be a Democrat, and I think that uh, the choice in this election, um, if you care about education, should be um, people from the Democratic Party.